everybody and today I'll be doing a cheer hair and makeup tutorial this is a two-part series so make sure you go ahead and check out both of them let's get started okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started we have all of our stuff ready right there in the Starbucks so we're gonna go ahead and get started okay so I'm gonna try and explain um, from off camera what we're doing and as we're doing it um, this is Jalen's actual makeup look that we would use for comp. Some people go, I mean, a lot less with it. Some people will go, you know, just as heavy with the makeup. Um, coming from a makeup artist background, I tend to go more towards the heavy. Um, so at any point, there's pieces of it that you can eliminate and don't have to do yourself. Um, but when we get to the eyeshadow portion, that's the part that um, is the most important as far as placement of the colors. So um, we're going to start by prepping her skin with a uh, MAC strobe cream. Don't, wait, yeah. so don't spill it. It's real slick. And I have a headband on so that like my hair's nice and back so she can do my makeup. Strobe cream is a light moisturizer that has an iridescent finish to it. Um, I'm going to throw this just on her face all over and let it set while I'm doing her eye makeup. And what brush are you using? This is a MAC 190 foundation brush. Um, primarily, most of the products I'm going to be using are MAC. Um, I worked there for many years and that's just kind of a personal preference that I've kind of stuck with. So. <laughs> So as this is my daughter, I'm going to do things that I probably wouldn't do in the field as what far as um, professionally. Um, I wouldn't normally touch with hands and things like that, but she's my kid, so we're good. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm okay. going to use... Close to y'all. <laughs> I'm going to use an eyeshadow base. I use a um, Studio Finish concealer in W10. Um, I don't know if you can purchase it just in a small container or um, you can only buy it in a large container at Mac Pro stores, but you can use any really light of their full coverage concealer. Okay, so we're going to start with um, the Studio Finish Concealer that I told you I'm using. It's a um, full coverage and I may be even using wrong terms because I haven't been working in a store in a very long time so I have products and other names in my head that may not be existent now um, but it's a full coverage concealer in a very light very very light color and I'll use this color on almost everybody um, from super light to even maybe a couple shades darker to Jalen um, so close your eyes so I'm going to start by, and this is my basic eye. When I do her for comp, it's a, I do a couple more steps, but I'm trying to keep this as basic as possible for you so that y'all can replicate it and actually be able to, um, you know, copy this look. Um, so I put this all over the lid, and I'll kind of press it out to, like, blend it out a little bit. Now you'll notice I do eyes first before I do foundation, and this is what's great because I can get color everywhere it can be kind of messy and then when I clean it up at the end it's gonna have a nice finished look um, if I do the foundation afterwards versus uh, doing all her foundation and then trying to do uh, the eyeshadow afterwards and you get fallout and things like that so I'm gonna apply concealer to both lids um, basically using this as an eyeshadow primer so if you have a primer you can do this that in place of this I'm going to try and stay out of the camera so that you can see everything I'm doing. Also, when I do her um, on comp days, I typically do her laying down. So doing her sitting up is kind of um, out of the norm for me and her. So forgive us both if we can't sit still or are having trouble doing this properly. I normally do it while she sleeps. <laughs> yeah. When comp when you have to be at comp at like 7 o'clock, like NCA. So I kind of blend it out like that a little bit. So you see she has a natural, you can 
lean in Jalen so they can see what's going on. And then we're going to put all the details of what we're using, colors, everything, in the um, comments section in the description. So you don't have to worry about any of those things. So we're going to start with a white frost eyeshadow from MAC. Um, closer to me, I'm going to blend this out just a little bit more. And keep your eyes closed. What I'm going to do is I start with this white color here and I'm going to pat it in right on the inner part of the eye. So I kind of try to stay right towards the inner, towards the center of the eye, just like this. And what I'm going to do is as I'm going, I'm going to kind of blend out with a blending brush just so that it doesn't have like a harsh line. So I pat in, I never, I never brush like this. I'm also using for this white color, a kind of, um, harder synthetic brush. That's not real fluffy. Um, cause I want it to be really concentrated, the color. But I think the biggest mistake, close your eyes. The biggest mistakes most people do when they do makeup is they feel like they need to brush it on. Like, you know, like you're painting. And um, you don't want to do that. That's going to give you funky placement. It's going to go everywhere. And you're not going to get the deposit of color that you need. So I do that. I touch it in. And then I kind of blend it out with my blending brush. This is a MAC 224. The color I used to put on the other is 24. Uh, the brush I used for the other one is 247. So that's the one that I used for the uh, to put on the white shadow. And then... This is A224, which is a really old brush um, of mine, at least. It's an, they have it at the store still, but it's um, older. It's an older brush. They last forever, so I've had them a very, very long time. Um, so right now she has just the white on. You can look in, and it's just on that inner corner of the eye. Okay, so um, the next part is going to be the blue. We're doing, um, obviously, uh, Cheer Athletics. Uh, makeup so we're gonna do a blue in the center um, but let's just say you have a gym and this is their basic look and your color is gold or green or um, turquoise any of those options would go here um, you could pretty much put anything into this middle section um, in the color scheme and you'll get the same effect so with CA um, I like to get a blue that actually looks pretty blue so we start off with an electric eel, which is a super bright blue, but because of the white shimmer shadow that's on there, it's going to tone it down just a little bit. And with this color, you can be very light handed with it, or you can be heavy handed with it. So you can get different um, deposit of color with it. So close your eyes. I'm going to keep blending this because as she opens her eyes and closes, it kind of creases until I put shadow in it. Um, so we're going to dab this blue into here okay so we're depositing the blue and you can see the color that's on there it's a little bit of blue and we're just going to press it into the middle section here and even if it feels like it's too bright it's okay because you're going to blend you're going to add a darker charcoal kind of black color on the outside and with that you can um, take away some of this blue if you feel like you have too much or you know also we can see where I'm blending it into the uh, white shimmer shadow that it has a little bit less color um, I know it's hard to see in the camera but you can see this concentration of blue right here but in person you can actually see it like blend this way into a little bit lighter blue right in here so I'm gonna press that in on both eyes Now I know for like some people this is going to be, when you see this color in a palette, you're going to go, oh my god, it's way too blue. Um, 
but it just really gives a nice blue color that you can actually see when they take pictures, but it's not obnoxious. Um, it doesn't turn into an ashy color or anything like that. You really see the true blueness of it, which um, if I'm going to do blue, I want you to at least see the blue and not it just kind of wash out into the black. So again, I'm going to go back in with my um, blending brush as I'm going and I'm going to blend it, blend it mm. up until into the crease. Okay, so lean okay. forward again, Jalen. Don't want to stop. So, so you can kind of see mm -hmm. what the blue looks like there. Okay. I can't see because my eyes are closed. Okay. Can I open? Um, or keep sure. them closed? Yeah. Open. So you can see how it is. It's just a little pop of blue, and that's pretty much it. Now, at the very end, if I feel like I don't have enough blue, I can always go back in and add just a tad bit more if I needed to. So... Now I'm going to go in with um, carbon black, which is a very, very dark, dark black color. But I'm going to do it very light-handed, and I'm going to start it from the outside corner like this in here, and I'm going to slowly like swoop it this way. Um, that's going to give it a lighter tone to it, so it's not going to be black. It's going to be more like a smoky color. Um, the but the nice eye. thing about it is that you can do it really light like that, blend it out, and then you can go in and concentration right towards the lash line to give it that more um, definition. Close. So with this, when I'm doing this, um, I kind of try to keep it like this level. See if it's their eyebrow and it's coming down. I'm going to keep it right in this angle. So I'm going to go up. And I don't worry too much about how far it goes this way because I'm going to clean that all up later. Blending brush again. And if you notice, I never put any color on my blending brush because I just use it to blend. And I don't want it to have extra color on it. So what I do is I just keep blending it, kind of lightly brushing it in towards the inside. And I don't really worry about how far this way it goes because, like I said, again, we're going to clean that up like a ton. So... There you go. Close. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye. So I'm just repeating what we did on the other side, slowly blending it this way. And then going in with my blending brush and just kind of slowly blending it that way some more. Blending. So, open. Okay. So I'm going to go back in now that it's blended out really well and I went in with the blending brush. I'm going to go back in with that black color just a little bit more and I'm going to keep it right on the lash line and into the crease like this. Just to give that, you know, extra pop. The extra pop. And again, I'm not going to leave it there. I'm just going to blend it out just a little bit so that we never see the lines of the makeup. Go back to the other side. And I'm going to.
to blend it out a little bit again. Just right there in the, the crease, just so that it doesn't have the line where it stops. You never want to see the really defined line of where the makeup is stopping and, you know, the lines. Especially when it comes to foundation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... So there you go. <laughs> Hopefully you can see um, kind of what's going on there. So now at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to clean up the eyeshadow and start the foundation process. So I, what I do at this point, I take a uh, makeup wipe. Um, any kind of makeup wipe will work. And I tell her to look up and I clean underneath her eye where any of the fallout would have come but then I'm going to turn her here I'm gonna make her go closer and I'm gonna do like this and I'm gonna base I'm gonna kind of put a little bit of pressure here and I'm gonna take away all the makeup from her the corner of her eye up to the end of her eyebrow so um, some people use tape to keep themselves from going outside of the line but this is my way of doing it so look down there so I'm going to do like this and basically swoop up and I want to make sure that both sides are even so that's why I follow that line so show y'all okay I'm gonna do the other side And I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> My looks funny. And I just want to get a really clean line like that. Clean. Clean. Okay. Ding. So, there you go. There's one eye. There's the... Okay. Now we are going to do foundation. Yeah, so we're going to, um, what we use for comp is MAC Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Let's see, ah, uh, right there. Yeah. Maybe I'll go close so you can see, like, all the words and stuff. Yep. <laughs> okay, so this is a waterproof, sweatproof, um, full coverage foundation. The only time she wears this is for Four. competition. Um, she doesn't even wear this for the most part for any photo shoots or anything like that because um, it's sweat proof which is good because hard work equals sweat so we don't want that to come off okay so <laughs> here back <laughs> Got <my> elbow. <laughs> okay so we are going in with the 190 Mac foundation brush and we're going to start here and of course you want to match the foundation to your... But also keep in mind that you're going to tan if you do yeah. tan or if you do do spray tan or anything like that. You want to make sure you get a good color. You want to get a good color that's going to still match you once you've spray tan, but doesn't look obnoxious if you're not. <laughs> I know that's hard, but... Um, or have a separate color for, for comp and for without comp or something like that. Um, so the biggest thing, look up. And you want to make sure you really blend it well. Like, with yeah, you want to blend this out really good because it is sweat proof, waterproof. It, um, once it dries down, it's pretty hard to blend out or smooth out because um, it goes on and it pretty much stays put. So I kind of try and get it everywhere how I want it. Um, I avoid right underneath the eye. I kind of blend it out there. But I don't go into the under eye area because I'm going to go in with a concealer afterwards um, that I use to conceal and to highlight just a tad bit. That would be the step where you could just do this and not do concealer and you would be okay. Um, it's one of those steps that I do on her because she's my daughter and I can. Um, the free country. Turn this way. <laughs> so... So I'm going to blend it out as much as I can. And then once I get it kind of in a good placement 
where it's it's blend out pretty good. I don't wait for it to be perfect because I'm gonna go back in with a with a like a beauty blender sponge. This one's from Mac, um, and I'm gonna kind of blend it out. Oh, it was on my brush. What? Okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> it was on my sponge. Uh, you couldn't see it in the mirror. Blend it, blend it. My so eyes. the biggest thing too, you want to make sure you blend it down into this hairline really good. Up there. Uh, Cause when you go to pull up their hair in a ponytail, you start to see extra skin up here that you're not thinking you're going to. So yeah, I kind of try and do my best work on there, but it's not always possible. Okay, so at this point now she's blended out really good and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. Concealer. Now for concealer I use Pro Longwear. Um, it's a little tube. MAC concealer. Mom's go. out. No, I'm just kidding. Not even um, that It's just, it has a really nice coverage to it and blends really well and stays on. Doesn't crease or anything like that. So I go in with the tip of this sponge, it kind of has a point, and then have her look up. And I'm going to dab it, like all in this area, and then kind of swipe it right under the lash line. And then I follow that same line where we cleaned up her eyeshadow to make it an even more clean look Whoa. and kind of... Uh, do a little bit of highlight right above the brow. I never actually pay attention to what you do. I just feel stuff on my face. Okay, so I apply that and then I start blending it out right away. This concealer too, you can't let it sit too long because then it pretty much stays put. So, uh, blend. so I'm going to blend it out before it really sets in. No, I'm just messing, making sure it blends. Oh my look god, up. look, it's my summit ring. Look up. Okay. Wait, is that my summit ring? So, uh. look in the mirror. I mean, look in the mirror. So, you can see the difference that the concealer makes. Set back a little bit. Turn. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do the other eye. I paid for it, so, I mean, I should be able to wear it, right? <laughs> um, so here you go. Look up. I'm going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I'm going to, like, tap, tap, tap right underneath. Tap, 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 tap. And then kind of swipe in here. And dab. There's a lyric that goes to that, but I can't think of it right now. So, okay. Um, I don't know. That's why I said dab or swipe. Dab. Wake up in the morning and I dab. Okay. To pull up Look. On the block. Up. <laughs> and I'm going to follow the same line. There's a bunch of songs with the word dab in it. Ooh, look at that makeup. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Highlight right above the brow. Blend it out. My nose keeps itching. <laughs> okay. So I really want to make sure that this line of the concealer goes right where I took away all of that excess eyeshadow. So I go over that again to get a really good line. And then, and then I blend it out some more. <laughs> your hand's like on my hand, you're dabbing it. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of some excess concealer that was just getting in the way. Just getting in the way. So, and then I kind of blend out this line. I don't want it to look like a, like a sharp line. But so we blend it out and bring it just a little bit into uh, into the shadow so that it doesn't look like a sharp line like I just went. 
I mean, unless you're going for that look, you know, which you could totally do. <laughs> so um, there she is, concealer. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this right to the center of her nose, the way that I would maybe highlight. And then um, right in here. Like if you some watched. feathers. <laughs> some feathers on my... Yeah. Um, I don't do a whole lot of contouring, but I do do some. So... Um, Stay tuned. <laughs> so yeah, and I mean, we do go in with a little bit of highlight powder and things like that. So, a um, little bit of highlight. There you go. Um, her eyeshadow, hopefully you can see basically what to do. Of course, you can stop the video at this point if you've gotten what you need from it. But if you do want to see the rest of the ritual, um, stay tuned because we will continue to do um, the steps that come afterwards, including the eyeliner, lashes. Contour. Um, so, I mean, obviously for a little one, you could stop at this point and just get ready and go to go. Now we will be contouring. Okay, so we're doing contour now. Um, we do a powder contour. Um, I'm not even going to, I mean, I'll tell you what it is. It was burnished bronze from Mary Kay that I like to use. Don't ask. My I got a bunch of samples one time and they've kind of just lingered in my makeup bag. Um, <laughs> So I couldn't even tell you if this color is available still, but any kind of um, brown color. Um, MAC used to do a color called Tan Tone, which I think they still do. Uh, that would work really good for a um, basic contour. But they also, everybody does contour palettes now, so you could use one of those. But So I'm going to start with my, um, this is a MAC 116, but I mean, to tell you the honest truth, this is probably not the best brush to contour with. But... Um, I just haven't bought new brushes in a really long time, so it works for me. So I, what I did was I kind of, um, when I'm getting the color, I keep it on one side of my brush. So I did like this, and then I kind of tap it off a little bit so that I get the excess off and it's not too, uh, too much color. I might even like do like this and kind of like tone it down. But then what I do is once I have, that's the side the color's on, I flip it over. And then when I do her contour, I brush up from here and I start from the ear and go down this way. And what, I'll, what that does is it makes sure the color stays up there and doesn't all end up down here. So that gives me um, a little bit more control over where my contour color is going. I'm bad at so contouring. I start from the top of the ear and what you want to do is keep it right underneath her cheekbone and I just kind of brush it that way. So you can see right there what the difference looks like Ooh. from this side to... So this side and then this side. Whoa. Turn it all the way this way. All the way. There. And then if she turns this way. There you go. Okay. And then you can like... So we're going to do difference. the other side now. My hair back. And I'm going to have her turn this way. Do the same thing. Start from here. My color is on the top part of my brush right here. And I'm going to blend it this way from here. Right underneath the cheekbone, top of the ear, <laughs> down to the corner of her lip, sort of, but not all the way to her lip. You want it to stop like right in here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to blend it up. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my contour brush, and I'm going to kind of lightly do it on her hairline. My hairline. Just kind of blending it out so that it gives her a little bit more definition. And then I'm also going to take it underneath here, under her jawline. Just a little bit. I don't. It, this isn't a heavy contour, so um, I'm gonna do a little bit right in here and a little bit right in here. 
just because that foundation, it really has some good coverage. So she's, when you throw it on, it really gives you a blank canvas. So you kind of have to give some of that definition back. So um, the next thing we are going to do is add our highlight. Highlighter! So, um, this is one of those pieces that you're probably going to be frustrated with because um, I don't use a lot of items that they, they're limited edition, so you probably can't find them. But I use just a basic powder shimmer highlight. I think one of these you can find. Um, this one on the right, I believe, is still maybe available in stores. Um, that would be Global Glow. And then um, this was, I know, a limited edition right here. It's Other Earthly. Um, but you can just kind of see the concept of what we're going for. Um, highlight well, shimmer powders. There's like a lot of good highlighters out there. Yeah. There's so many available now. Ooh, oh, so featuring our new Selena brush, 129. Um, brand new. This is the first time we're using it. So we're going to go in with the highlight. It's so exciting. And, um, this is the Global Glow one. And I'm going to have her look up. I'm going to put it right on the top of her cheek, up the, the very top of her cheekbone. And I'm going to do the other side and do the same thing. And then I'm going to do a little bit up here, right in the center here, a little bit here, a little bit here. So there, you can get an idea of how that glows. Um, so this is global glows. Yes. Now, for a little bit of extra, there's a nice, really, really light highlight color. And I'm going to use that um, right in the center here. And you'll see it right now, like, it's going to be kind of like a line, but I'm going to blend it out in a minute. And I'm going to use that same one, like, let me blend this out a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, doing it from one side, so I'm not paying attention to what's going on over here on this side. So, okay. So I'm going to take that light color and I'm going to put it right here on this top of her cheekbone. Top of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to blend it out a little bit. This is a 162. Again, I don't guarantee that this is something they have because, again, it's one of those brushes I've had for years and years and years. Okay. So now I'm blending out where I put that line there. And then I'm going to add it here to the other side right on the top of the cheekbone and then I'm going to blend it out so there you go and now we will be doing some blush okay so um, this is the blush we use it's full-on fuchsia um, it is a very 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 pink blush and it is for Mac as well I probably can't read that but it's full-on fuchsia and um, what I do with this one is I'm going to barely, barely tap this brush, the same one that I used for the highlight. Barely. And I just kind of do like this, and you'll see some pink on it maybe. And then I'll even dust it off a little bit, and then I'll go in and put it just on the apples of her cheeks. I don't do this. Um, it's going to be here, and I'm just going to press it and kind of blend it at the same time, a little flicks, um, just to give her some pink. But this is a very, very pink blush. Yeah. It will last, I mean, it'll last you forever because you don't have to use a ton of it. Um, and something to do to help you, you can smile because then you see the little circle. Yeah. So, again, we're going to hit here and kind of just blend out while I'm going. I don't put very much on the brush at all. And you see that's, it, you know, if you get up closer. So you can see the pinkness in there. Super pink. Just from the little bit that we did. So there she goes. Um, now we're going to do, um, you know, sometimes we like to make sure that her eyebrows look on fleek. <laughs> and if we are going to do that, we fill them just slightly um, with a lighter color so that it doesn't give her, like, crazy dramatic brows just kind of a finished look on her brow so I take a MAC 266 brush this number you definitely can't see it's probably one of my oldest um, and I start here kind of just giving myself the shape 
So you can see you get a line right there. For y'all. And then I blend it up as I'm going. Because I want it to have a very soft, not um, harsh look. She's 11, so she doesn't need to have Kim K um, Instagram brows. <laughs> so we're going to lightly just kind of feather it out. But the line on the bottom gives her like a defined brow. See? So. And I use kind of a lighter color because when you use the darker color, it gets real dramatic real quick. So this is, I think, cork eyeshadow that I used in her brows. And I'm just kind of using a little bit and then blending it, blending it, blending it with my brush. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Hold on. Hold on. Still blending this side since this is not the side I'm on. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. So you can see the difference between doing the brows and not doing the brows. Sit back a little bit so you can see the difference. Um, it's not super dramatic, but it just gives it that little. little helps a little. Finished. Yeah. So we're gonna do the other one, following the same rules. Look at the nose highlight. <laughs> and then blending it out. Now, some people have asked me if I like wax her eyebrows or anything, and very rarely, maybe. Twice but, a year. <laughs> <laughs> but we really don't for the most part because she doesn't like it. So, mm -hmm. um, really, this is all we do to kind of define her eyebrows. Yeah, we I think like last year's season, I only waxed once and I tweezed once. Yeah. So, there you go. All right. Now we're going to do our finishing touches, which is eyeliner, mascara, and we're going to add some lashes. Boom! So, ta-da! <laughs> um, <laughs> we added um, liquid liner. Close your eyes and lean forward. We added just a light liquid liner here. Um, that's Stila Black Waterproof Pen. Um, I That's my favorite liquid liner. It's the one... The mo one of the two non-MAC products that I use um, because I love it so much. It has color deposit from root to tip. Um, most pens don't do that. Um, so it's just super easy to use and it's waterproof, smudge proof as well. Um, everything we do for comp is waterproof, smudge proof because uh, we athletes. never know what conditions <laughs> we're going against, you know, outdoors, indoors, practice, you know, pull outs. So it's good to have. Um, next, we did mascara and extended play from MAC. This is, I think, Gigabyte. Um, it's also Gigabyte. waterproof. Well, it's, I think it's water resistant, not waterproof. Um, and smudge proof as well. It stays on really well. It doesn't smudge or cry off if she sweats. Um, it's not really, um, it does, just doesn't come off easily. Um, the last thing we use is um, Dose of Color. Um, the color is Kiss of Fire. It's a very true red. Um, if you understand red tones, then it's a blue undertone red and not a orange undertone red. Um, there's a difference. And I think they have another one that does have a more orangey undertone to it. Um, but this is a blue red, uh, because we are doing blue eyeshadow and our look, um, so this um this dose of color I just really like. It's I a very love. it's a movable <laughs> red lipstick. It doesn't um once it starts to age, it doesn't crack when you eat anything oily or anything like that. Uh, a lot of the 24 hour lipsticks tend to do that. And this is a liquid matte. Um so it's really, really nice. Um now we're gonna take a second. I'm gonna add lashes so that you can see the final look of what it looks like without lashes. There you go. I'm sorry. My kid loves the camera and wants to be all up in your face. Um, <laughs> so there you go. There she is. Uh, we're going to add lashes and then you can see what she looks like afterwards.
finished look. So this is the finished look. We added a very natural um, small lash. I tend on her to use, um, there is a Demi Wispy if you go to Sally's or uh, CVS or Walgreens. Um, look for some, I think Ardell does a Demi Wispy. This is very similar to that. Um, it just gives her a little bit of um, fullness and a little bit of, of length that she doesn't have naturally and um, but without being obnoxious and big or um, they don't bother her they feel lightweight so I'm um, lean forward Jalen give them a really good like close-up of each eye here's this eye and the lash <laughs> and then this eye the lash <laughs> And there you go. Um, that's her finished makeup look. Now on to the hair.